All right, what's up, YouTube fam? So, uh, I got myself a big box full of these pocket clips. And I think these will work quite well with um, these sheaths. And they will be standard um, on these rivet lock bulk or mediums. So, I didn't have a chance, I don't think, to show you guys the newest ones, but I think this looks super pro, mega pro, and I figured out a way to do the sheath in such a way, of course, where we don't scratch the surface, which is awesome. Basically, it's three layers of tape on each side. Might have to do more. Of course, the problem with these pocket clips is that you got to be really really careful with the distance between these eyelets so for example on this particular one the pocket clip doesn't fit so but uh let's see this is mine and uh, you can see on my own personal one i fudged up the first attempt at trying to dig a hole drilled a little bit to the side so i'm gonna have to make some kind of jig in order to make it so that it's possible to do the um, to do the these properly it's not super difficult but anyway so let's see this is what the bag looks like um i ordered like 50 or something of these and uh it's the single hole one and they come with two screws and two rubber pieces and as you can see the screws go on this side the rubber piece on this side and then you have the blunt side on this side you can basically do it however you want i'll be ordering some that have two holes make it a little easier for myself but i've always preferred to go with a more like simple and um kind of minimalist approach with certain things and i think you know i'd rather use the small one with more precise holes because it just you know it looks more professional if it's if it's done minimalistically now another update is from this week is we've got well first of all just quickly look how nice this is all right look how cool that is Isn't that awesome? So, I think these rivet locks, uh, pool core mediums, they will be around 180, 190 each. Um, so a couple of these, I won't have full price because they're so early in the prototyping stage that there's like, I still have to, you know, I got to make like 10 of these and see what's right and what's wrong and then continue with certain things. So, for example, number 37 won't be full priced. And the reason for that is I think the pommel feels a little narrow. So you don't really notice it, but when, you, when you're holding the others, it's definitely, it's definitely, um, it's definitely um, slightly more comfortable. Like you, you do, you feel the difference, and I think this, this is where I want to go. So you know, I make, you know, this is again, like I've said a million times. You want to, um, here's my, you want to, if you, when you got a design, you don't want to rush it, right? You want to make one, play around with it for a few days. Okay, this needs to change. This needs to change then make two or three and just go slowly through it because often what happens is you've got a brilliant idea you make 30 of them and they all got the same problems or they all have a varied amount of problems and they all have a bunch of different things that each one of them you wish you didn't do right and so by doing it slowly one or two or three at a time you get certain things that in effect that you see you can measure them then you write those measurements down and you tell yourself, okay, this is the minimum dimension in this particular part of this product that it can be like, you cannot go. So you can write yourself a list of standardized dimensions for that product. 
right. And for example, what I've discovered is the distance between here and here and here and here has to be precisely eight centimeters. Um, otherwise, you're going to get, you see, um, I don't know if you can make that out, but you see how there's the final knot. So these knots, they go all the way to the end. But the string here, I had to do one extra layer of string here. And that's because on this particular one, this is eight centimeters. And then this is 8.2 or 8.1. So just a 0 0.1, 0 0.2 millimeter variation in that dimension, in, in that area is enough to, 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 to do this. So, um, but, uh, and then of course this one, I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to redo the sheath. I mean, if I do it, then this one's just going to have two tooth sheaths and whoever orders it basically orders a knife that has two sheaths. So this one doesn't actually scratch nearly as easily, but you can see that it does sort of happen. The thing is that coating is anyway going to remove itself over the time that you use the blade. It's not gonna stay there forever. I mean, this is the same with Cerakote. It's the same with Parkerizing. It's the same with everything. Otherwise, this one is super nice. This is a really, really nice, super nice one. And uh, it's pretty much perfect in every way, except for that sheath being shite. Well, it's, it's fine, but the distance between these holes is too much to put a, one of these pocket clips on there and it's slightly tight. So, um, I'm going to, whatever happens with this one, it's going, I think I'm, next week when I come back, cause I need to head off for a few days. When I get back to the forge, I'll make a new sheath for this one where the pocket clips work. And then it won't be full price because of the, the small scratching there, but, um, Whoever orders that one will get both sheaths, right? So you get just one basic sheath and then you get the other one. Um, but overall, I think it's kind of interesting, you know, how if we compare, you know, the products from where, where it came from and, and where it is, um, you know, it's kind of interesting. I mean, so the next thing on the agenda list today that we're going to talk about, so other than the fact that uh, we've basically figured out the rivet lock bulk or medium design, they're each going to come with one of those pocket clips. This is the other update of the week, which is these becals. So I got here, this is number 007. This is number... Zero, zero, 008. This is number zero, zero, 009. So I've made dozens of picals before, but in, in the terms, in the, I, I redid the number series from zero um, with uh, recently because I kind of figured out what I wanted, where, which direction I wanted to go with, with the rivet log picals. So these are super nice. Um, and now that we're at it, so the way I keep my own on my pants is here. I am wearing another pair of pants. So this is, you know, even though, yeah. So, but this is usually where I carry it. And uh, so this one is actually number two. And uh, I really liked having two finger holes there. Where did uh, the sheath, oh, <laughs> sheath is on the pair of pants. Well, here's another example. So the problem with doing that is, of course, there's a there's a problem with the sheath design. And so I had to kind of rethink that. But going from number one and number two are pretty much identical. They both look like this. And one thing I noticed before in the past with the rivet, with when it comes to picals, is that you don't really need all this extra weight. They're delicate knives. They're not designed to be abused. They're, they're for delicate operations. They're for cutting things relatively precisely. So having all that extra steel felt unnecessary, right? So, oh, this is number two, and that's number one. So these, they're kind of hefty. They actually feel a little, a little like they got a little weight on them. Um, I got a, I got a scale here. And uh, so with the sheath on, 
Come on, turn on. With the sheath on, 160 grams. With the sheath off, 130 something grams. So, uh, you know, so let's go without the sheath for now because I don't have a sheath on these other ones. So then I realized, you know, even though it's, you know, it's it's a really good design, it feels great in the hand. I gotta knock off some weight because the thing is, when you're carrying knives, especially a picol, a picol is an excellent EDC. Um, but there's certain things that you can't do, like cutting on a hard surface if you're cutting in a certain way. So you're sort of forced to carry another knife with you when you got a picol. It's you kind of need both. That's what I've noticed. You need each one. Or you have a Bowie knife with a sharpened clip point, and then you have one knife that has a clip point and a regular bevel, and then you sort out all your problems. No issues there. But anyway, you know, the, the idea is you either have two light knives, you have, or you have one sturdy, heavy duty blade that doesn't, that isn't necessarily as light as it can be. So it's got all the weight it needs to be to be as strong as possible. No skeletonized handle bullshit. You know, this blade, as it sits, 167 grams. So compared to the full steel Picol, which is 130 grams, you're only off by 40, 50 grams there. So I realized, okay, I need to, I need to knock off some weight. And we went over and drilled a couple extra holes. And now, with the sheath on, it's 148 grams. So it's actually, these two are pretty similar in weight. They're close. And, of course, without the sheath, we're now down to 118 grams. Um, but as time went on and I started thinking some more, I realized, you know, maybe, maybe I can knock off more weight. And that's where we got to this and I also had to change it so that there's one finger hole here because this part of the spine needs to fit inside the sheath otherwise there's a whole bunch of problems when it comes to manufacturing so this is the final design outcome this is really nice in the hand uh, all those extra holes this means that you can actually put your own wrap if you want to I don't really intend on wrapping handles on the pickles or at least I will at some point but Anyway, this one, as, as it is now, the weight is 90 grams. So we've knocked off from the original, well, not the original, but from the number two, which weighs 134 grams, to number nine, which weighs 90 grams. So we've knocked off actually a lot of weight there. A uh, very decent amount of weight and it feels extremely lightweight like this. So we've had to drill five holes and uh, I've also brought the bevels up a little bit. Let's see if there's an even lighter one. Here's a slightly smaller one. These I haven't put the edge on there and I haven't put the rivets or the sheaths yet, but we're, we're getting there. This one's 80 grams. 82 grams. Not bad. So... Um, which one? Then here's another one. This one's really nice as well. They're all super nice, but I, I particularly like this kind of handle on these. And it allows you to choke up, which is very important with this. You can put your middle finger in there if you want to go further up. Very, very nice grip. And the weight, the lightweightness makes a lot of sense on a Picol. 81 grams. And it's, you know, bigger than this one. So this one's 81 grams. That was number eight which is 81 grams. Here's a slightly thicker one, chunkier one. Again, amazing grip. Just a uh, super, super slick. Right? 98 grams. So this one's, a, this one's a bit heavier, huh? That was number 11 compared to number 8. So I won't be able to continue working on these until I get back because I have a lot of things to do in town. I need to make my way over. But this is going to be for now the standard model for these rivet lock beacals. And I think 
for now, I'll put put them at like ninety euros each. I think the true value is around one hundred and twenty euros. But I, I first need to get some out of the door. I need to see what people have to say about them. I need to know what people need changed. If there's any, you know, I can't sell full priced until I know that. Uh, well, until I, I until I'm I'm certain. So I'm gonna be placing these at uh, at that price, and they they're all forged from this, right? So quite a lot of work to get from here to here. And the nice thing is, so. You know, there's memory in the steel, so it's forged, and it's, I, I forge it so that this is the spine, and this is the belly of the knife. So what happens when you quench is that if there's any memory left in the steel, it naturally wants to to bend in the right in, uh, straight. So they actually have a self straightening um, nature to them during the quench. So just for the hell of it, might as well. Show you guys, this is the same one you guys have been seeing all week. Isn't that sick? I'll be working on this one when I get back as well. Here is one, a stiletto style. Um, I'll probably also just put this up for a random sale. I accidentally forgot to straighten it completely. So it's like three degrees or something off center. I don't know if you can see that. The handle is pointing straight at the lens of the camera. So you can see the blade is a little bit off. Happens, but I don't know what yet what price this will be at. But when I get back, I'll put everything on the website and uh, and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of these rivet lock bolts here also available. But uh, so the pickles will also come with the belt clip. I think I haven't I haven't decided on that yet. But at least when it comes to the rivet lock bulk or medium i now sort of decided that this is like the most refined version of it this is going to be what it looks like from now on um they're all gonna be included with a pocket clip and i'll put the pocket clips on my website separately to order um i just yeah so you can order them separately but they won't be as cheap as like ordering it from aliexpress and i'm sure it'll be cheaper to order these from from another place because i can't yeah i do anyway so that's it for today i think guys and if you want to support my work you can always buy a scalpel from my website you can see that i've actually used a pocket clip here one of those clips i just put on one swivel i clip it to my shirt and i just have it hanging there it's pretty neat um so yeah and for the last week or so, I've been carrying this as a um, boot knife. This is an amazing, because it's so slim, it fits very, very well in the boot. you got to kind of figure out your own system of how it's tied on there. Um, I didn't. Use, I've only, I only received these pocket clips yesterday, and they work very well for the, you know, if you're wearing sweatpants and whatnot, but um, they might actually also work uh, in the boot super well. I haven't tried yet, but either way... Um, I think things are coming together very well, and uh, yeah, if you want to support my work, and of course you can buy one of my scalpels from HotMetalKnives.com. If you want a custom one, you can go via Etsy. The problem is Etsy is very expensive to use, so I don't actually get that much money from there. It's better that you buy straight from my website. And that's all I think I have for today, guys. Pocket clips and pickles. The update.